In this section, we will review how to solve systems of linear equations in two variables, which we've learned in previous courses, and then expand our study to include systems of equations in three variables. So let's first re review that a system of equations is a collection of two or more equations, each containing two or more variables, which are solved simultaneously. So we can fill in here two or more equations, Again, each containing two or more variables which are solved simultaneously, so at the same time. A solution of a system of equations consists of values for the variables that, solve e that, that satisfy each equation of the system. If the system contains two variables, like we're familiar with already, the solution is the ordered pair that makes each equation true. So it's typically an x-y pair. It will be a set of two variables, x and y, a and b, etc. Now, if the system contains three variables, which is new to our studies, the solution is actually an ordered triplet, which would be an XYZ pair, or an ABC pair, or something like that. Okay, so let's look at example one. We want to verify that the values of the variables listed are solutions of the system of equations. So we know that if 4, 1 is a solution of this system, it must satisfy both equations. It, it should make both equations true. So all we need to do to check is plug into each one and make sure we get true statements. So I'll fill in here for the first equation. I'll put 4 for my x, minus 1 for my y, and I want to see if I get 3. Well, yes, 4 minus 1 is 3, so that's true. And then we'll check it in our second equation. 2 times x, so 2 times 4, minus 3 times y, we'll put the 1 in for the y, equals 5, so we get 2 times 4 is 8, minus 3 times 1 is 3, so 8 minus 3 is 5, so that works. So since it satisfies both of these equations, this ordered pair, it is a solution to this system. Now this might look new to us, this is a system with three variables, so here we've got x, y, and z, and we've got three equations. So when you have two equations, you've got the uh, two variables with two equations, and here we've got the three equations and the three variables. So here's the solution we're going to verify, it's an ordered triplet instead of an ordered pair, so 2, negative 3, 1. So we'll just substitute these values in for our x, y, z, so this is our x, y, z. We assume those are in alphabetical order just like our ordered pairs, always in alphabetical order, x, y. So I'll fill into the first equation here, the 4x minus z equals 7. So I'll put in a 4 times 2 minus that 1 for the z equals 7. So 4 times 2 is 8, 8 minus 1 is 7. I'll substitute into the second equation, so I'll do 8 times x, so 8 times 2 plus 5y, so 5 times negative 3, minus z, so put the 1 in for the z, equals 0. So I've got 8 times 2 is 16, 5 times negative 3, negative 15, so 16 minus 15 is 1, and 1 minus 1 is 0, so this works. And then finally, the third equation our negative x minus y plus 5z equals 6, I'll fill in, so I want negative put the 2 in for the x, minus put the negative 3 in for the y, plus 5 times 1 for the z, and that equals 6. So I've got negative 2 minus the negative 3, so we know this becomes plus, so negative 2 plus 3 is 1, plus 5 times 1 is 5, and that does give us 6. So we've just verified then that the ordered triplet 2, negative 3, 1 is a solution to this system.